brought to you by the Peter Stuncher Public Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I am Miss Linda, and we are here to bring all the juvenile information that you need to know right into your living room. <laughs> Did you like that? But we also talk about youth, teens. Okay, well, a lot of our stuff is juvenile. True. Right. We I mean, are. We put it, <laughs> well, we are, but I mean, doesn't the J in our department stand for juvenile? Yes. Okay, we're bringing you juvenile information. Okay. And, and it starts with us. That's <laughs> right. That's how we got <laughs> the, the job. <laughs> That's how we got the job, exactly. When um, they interview, don't they kind of go like, okay, let me see your immaturity. Right. It works. Mm -hmm. You're you can hired. Sing and dance the best. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Off tune. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or do, if you're happy in. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we're going to start off with some news. Yes. Oh, you get to oh, yes. roll. Yeah, some you can. Library news from around the globe with Miss Linda, one of our favorite yeah, parts Yeah, library of the show. news um, or literature news, something that's relating. Leaving you with some food for thought always. Absolutely food for thought always. I like this one. I, I know that we've talked kind of similar about it before, but every time it comes up, I love reading it. It was a very short, to the point article. Um, it was called Reading Information Allowed to Yourself Improves Memory of Materials. And this would be good for all the students here as well, mm -hmm. because it talks about, and this is, this is real recent, out of the Universi University of Waterloo. Oh. Yeah, how about that? Like, um, like Napoleon, like Waterloo? Isn't that where he's from? Water? No, you know what I was thinking? Waterloo, you know the song by ABBA? Waterloo. Dun, no, dun, dun, dun. missed that oh, one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I forgot. That's right. You're a couple years younger than I am. Um, okay, so anyway. This is something that's not a surprise, but I like to remind people, but I, and I think I like, I do it because I like to remind myself. Because as I age, you know, in that memory thing, you know, that it's oh, something so goes. Starting off so really the, good sum, the, <laughs> the summary is you are more likely to remember something if you read it out loud. Okay. okay, so a recent study found that speaking text, and this is helping when you study and, and you, you've got to, you know, read these reports and stuff, helps to get the words into long-term memory if you, if you say it aloud. And they dub it the, uh, the production effect. I like that, production effect. The study determines right, you're practicing that is almost. the dual action of speaking and hearing oneself that has the most beneficial impact on memory. I believe it. So, yeah, so... Uh, it, well, I'll, I'll read the, more of this, but if you see me walk, walking around, I, I've talked to myself in the library anyway, you know, we're walking around we and we do. all it's do. It's a like, sign of our department. <laughs> it's a sign of the juvenile department. Um, if, but if you find me talking to myself more often, there's a reason. I'm working on my memory. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so the study confirms that learning and memory benefit from active involvement. And this makes so much sense because they talk about when, as you age, to keep your memory going and right. to keep you with it. Right. Cro you know, like for the elderly to do crossword puzzles, um, Scrabble, or you know, yeah. cards, or just anything to to keep them thinking mm -hmm. and their their thing going. But this piece is so perfect for us because we read to the kids and we uh, we. Um, are advocates of getting moms to, and parents and families to read right. to their kids. Right. And it says that when we consider the practical applications of this research, and, and again, they brought uh, seniors up about doing puzzles, crosswords, the idea of action or activity. Keeping your brain working. Improves the memory. I, I believe it. That's okay, true. so, but this is, can I read the next one where, if, if I was gonna be graded on this, I would get an F. Well, not totally enough, but sliding down. <laughs> okay, um, this is something else that helps with memory. Regular exercise and movement. There are strong building box, blocks for a, see, I can't even say it, that's how bad. <laughs> uh, blocks for a good memory. We move around a lot. We move right around right. a lot, but are they talking like, I, no, yeah, right. treadmills and all those Maybe things? Maybe we should have a fitness section of our now library. Get rid of the cafe and put in a mini gym. <gasps> with audio, like with playlists. Oh, we could sell memberships and everything. No, it should be for employees only. It'll be ours. 
<laughs> employees only. All right, so let me, I'm going to end it with uh, the, the latest study shows that part of the memory benefit of speech stems from it being personal and self-referential. And this made me think of, I can't remember, and we've talked about this, and I make these comments, <coughs> I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, or oh, yeah. what did I do? It's Thursday, it's Thursday, I have to really stop and think, what did I do on Monday? Yeah. But if a song comes on the radio, mm -hmm. darn it, you know, it could be back from 19th of it. I can read, <laughs> I don't know what the kids the, don't know. The mid to late 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> mid to late, late 1900s, okay. I can remember the words, right. you know, like well, how you can say, sing actually, along and everything. the songs you learned as a teen and young adult are the songs you remember. Like, I might not be able to pick up a lyric of a song that's out today, but if it was something from my teens, I could probably still tell you all the words, even right. if I haven't heard it for 10 years. Wait a minute, I would challenge you on that. You don't know any of the lyrics to any of the Taylor Swift songs. True. Okay, yeah. gotcha. But All right. I do sing them out loud, so they stay in my memory. Because well, I now, say it out loud and not in my head. Now, if I sing it out loud, it does. singing it out loud doesn't go into my memory <laughs> at all. Uh, you know, no, that's not true, because I've got all the little kids' songs memorized just like that. This study was recently published in the journal, and the journal is called Memory of yeah. All Things. So there cool. it is. I like it. That Everything you need one. to know. So start yep. singing. Yep. And that's right. true for studying too, because I, I, looking back to even when I was studying in school, if I like would like talk it out to myself, or even if I sang it, yeah. like a certain like facts I had to remember, I would like make up little songs about them. Yeah. And like that rhythm or whatever. I, I, well, you know, I well, if we're going to stay on that, I was impressed when my kids went, when they were in elementary school and they went, and I know it's the same at, at uh, the ele both elementary schools here in Peters. Um, my kids went to Pleasant Valley. And I remember, I thought it was the coolest thing when they were going that they would do these shows and things. And like, they were singing the president's names and they were, you know, they know right. everything in order. They know all of this stuff, the plants, and, like, because it was all songs right. and all and that. I still know it today because of that. Exactly. Do we know it today? You know, like right. every president in order? No, but my kids could sing the song, yeah. you know? Right. and there it got it so mm -hmm. they're singing um you know the president's name in a nice song and i'm singing waterloo by abba <laughs> <laughs> well, we know, whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right move it on oh okay. my god well back speaking of elementary school yes. and uh things a very special holiday that we celebrate in the library it's not really a hot well i guess it is yeah. a, in a sense you know is. what in the literary world it, it is. is it is it's a date to remember and that is dr seuss's birthday um, schools and libraries across mm -hmm. the country always do something fun to honor him. So we're having a party. Yes, that's we what, are. That's what we do. So we're having a Dr. Seuss party in a local. Um, Did you bring her? Oh, yes. here. Oh, it's on here too. Okay. A local. Um, I guess I could say craftsman, well, artisman. Well, artisan. Yeah. Well, she's a, a she's a patron of the library too. Former former teacher for Peters. Yes. Uh, Miss Jelaine. Jolene. J Jolene. J Jolene. Jolene. Jones. Jolene. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> See what you remember from singing? Yeah. I don't know how to say her last name, though. Hannah, hey. Hannah Jones. Okay. So she used to teach at Bower Hill, mm -hmm. and now she, as a hobby, makes these Read to Me pillows, and they're all handcrafted, gorgeous pillows. They have a little book pocket here, mm -hmm. um, a nice, really sturdy handle. To hold yep. it, it's like a, almost like a dog collar kind of handle, and you can so you can kind of snuggle up and read your good book. And she has donated this beautiful Dr. Seuss mm -hmm. one to us for us to raffle off at our Dr. Seuss party. But if you would like to have anyone created, um, she can do pretty much just about anything. If you look closely in our picture here, she has like a, a sports one and a, a Disney one, a Peppa Pig. Mm -hmm. um, so she, whatever you, you whatever, know, whatever your, your theme is, is. Yeah. yeah. If your kids have a them. certain theme, like Disney right. or whatever, it, she'll do it with the theme. Right, for sure. So, and then if you would like to purchase one and have her make one, she's actually going to donate some proceeds to the library, which is awesome. So yep. it's a little library fundraiser. But to kind of get us excited about it, we have this one to raffle off at our event for, and there'll be a free raffle to honor Dr. Seuss. That's going to be on Thursday, March. Thir first mm -hmm. um, at 6.30, so. And these, we raffled off two of right. them at our um, national uh, Take Your Child to the Library Day. Mm -hmm. 
they were really popular. They went first, which right. we raffled off first. She gave us two of them to raffle right. off for that. Yeah, they were beautiful To get them too. out there. And so right away, I was like, okay, you're hired. Yeah. And, and talked to her about doing one for a, an author that we love in our library, Jackie Urbanovic. And she's working special on that. And right. she really goes out of her way to make copies of things and make things work. And, and you know, she was taking her um, illustrations and having it printed on fabric. Right. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. She said she's done different memorial pillows and mm -hmm. stuff too, which I think is really a nice gesture. So just a fun really, thing to, you know what, really wouldn't awesome. you love, like with, as, as your son gets, as Lucas gets older and older, like something like this, you put the uh, book in there and you have him in the back seat and he's like snuggling up with his pillow and then when he's not snuggling he's up he's his reading book. his book and best part about it though is the cover comes off mm -hmm. and it's fully machine washable so it is um, that I'll as, be Vanna that is the best part about um, anything involving a child <laughs> is that you can wash and it and actually she um she was talking to us about it and if you remember she said that she used to do these and not have the pillow it didn't include the pillow, which made it a lot less expensive. I, I don't think it's expensive for all the work that she puts into this. Right. It just the, brought the cost down a little bit, but right. it wasn't worth it. It's harder to find, you know, the exact pillows and everything. I love it just as it is. I do too. It comes as an already ready-made gift. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's a great gift. The holidays aren't as far away as we think, you know, so... Mm -hmm. um, I love awesome. it. Really great idea. So make sure you come to the library and you can get some information about that if you'd like to have one Hun made. Oh, and of course, please come to Dr. Seuss night. And, yeah, and um, try to win it. And win one, yeah. 100% cotton. Yep. Love it. And we I love go, it. Actually, Did we show the back? I, I would like to win that one because that one. our whole our playroom is Dr. Seuss. Yeah, that would house, look great so in there. I'm like, mm. That could be a nice little nap pillow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of Dr. Seuss, so... Well, since we're on the topic and we make it a big deal, did you have any more about Dr. Seuss? Go ahead. You sleep okay. Over. Well, I have a couple things. I have a thing for adults that really doesn't include us much, but, <laughs> but we'll, I'll read it to I'm us sure anyway. But good. this is, I'm going to do Dr. Seuss next week. Me too, with, yeah. Are you? Mm -hmm. Next week with the kids? And I'm going to do Bartholomew and the Oobleck. I love that one. Which mm -hmm. we love the story. I tried to get away. Making Oobleck? I am. So I went and we had the glue, but we didn't have any borax. You oh, you're doing a little bit different. You can just also just do cornstarch and water. Which oh, I saw that one too. But we did that at um, community. Yeah, in a swimming pool. Yeah, that, that was, was fun. fun. Well, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it the glue way okay. with the borax. But um, and if that doesn't work, I'll. If I have to do flour and water, I will do. Right. So what I want to do is give all the kids a little container of it, yeah. and then they can put in like the. Coloring. Uh, the coloring and then they can mix it up and then yeah you know so that'll be fun so if you have your preschoolers kindergarten gardeners come to my programs you will fun. they will get um to make their oobleck. Own oobleck we have a Dr. lot of Seuss. containers too so i know i was so excited them. okay one more thing <laughs> one more thing um so look at this actually this was a donation from it. somebody a long uh, a while ago and I've just kind of had it on my shelves. And funny what you find now that we didn't even mention. Now that we've had the whole place painted. Yes, please come oh, to our library. Oh, you have to see it's how all, nice oh, it looks. It's awesome. Very colorful. That's it's how I found this. Yeah. See the things because you find when you're cleaning out. Because we had to move <laughs> things off our shelves and our desks so that the guys, the township guys have been working tirelessly. And thank you to, Je to Mr. Jeff and his crew. Awesome oh job Oh my gosh. It looks, it looks so awesome. nice. I left today to come. I'm like, holy cow. They're just cruising. And they, especially like Jeff it being, you know, as he's a, the head guy, very particular yes. and really watching for the, the details right. to make sure that it looks really good. It looks awesome. Well, oh, we're just so happy We're with so it. blessed. Yep. So. And they pounded it out really quick. It was really only about two weeks it took them. So. Yeah. And we the, didn't and even had know. bad weather in between, so... Okay, I was going to read one of these, um, but I was going to just read a short, oh, Green Eggs and Ham, I love that one. But there's like little Seuss-isms. Okay. Yeah, I'll, from his books. How about this one? Okay. This will be like, um, make everybody feel good. This will be like You're their mantra for us. the day. Yes, I'm going to inspire you. And it's on success. So kids, listen up. Not kids. All right, young adults. Everyone. Everyone. All right. Whatever. <laughs> On success. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great 
balancing act. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. And that's from the book, Oh, the Places yeah, You'll Go. I we know. have pictures of that framed in our in our playroom too. And the benefit of working in libraries is that I get a hold of damaged Dr. Seuss books right. that I can rip apart. Well, you know what else makes me like get emotional about that story too is that that's one that um, you know if they're seniors, it's a perfect graduation gift. Yes. You know, for kids to read. I mean, it it's so good. It and is. It, as a mom, it kind of makes you tear up because mm -hmm. you're not ready for that big step. No. But they did it. My kids did it in spite of me. They, they did. They grew up in spite of you. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> grew up in spite of me. So go ahead. Well, I was just going to talk about my favorite Dr. Seuss book. Oh, good. Quick, which yeah. actually, since it must be popular because I couldn't find it on the shelf, but I brought him with me. Stole him. I just sneak. I suck him out of my house. This oh. Afternoon. This is Fox and Socks. Aww. And he's my favorite book. That's my favorite book to read aloud because it's, uh, I think actually because it's a personal challenge for me. Yeah. It's like, it's like good job. Yeah, when you make it, <laughs> when when you make make it, it through. through. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a tongue twister book, but yeah. we have a lot of um, Dr. Seuss friends at our house, so I brought him to hang out with us oh, today, good. too. So there's Fox. Okay. And then this was my... Boy, are we decorated. This okay. was my... Um, this is, was me today, but because it was a pouring down rainy day, but it's also me most days, and it's I am not going to get up today. <laughs> oh, I like that. Was that you this morning? <laughs> yes, that was me this morning. I love this one. I'm not going to get, he's like, you know, you can bring in the police, you can bring in the marching band, but I'm, I'm staying in bed. That and, would be great for high school kids. Yep. <laughs> yep, I'm not going to get up today. Nope, I'm not. So that, this is one of my, another one of my favorites. Actually, that was me this morning, because it's such a rainy day. I just laid there looking out the window, watching the rain, going, do I really have to go out in that? Yeah. Really? Yep. Yuck. That so that, one. yeah, that's a good one. Although, did you get the, um, if you get the Peters patch, I don't know if you caught this. If there's any kids in here that aren't seniors, they're, ex uh, they're making the, di uh, the, 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 the school day start later next year. I did see that. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that cool for the high school and the middle? I think the middle school. I definitely thought for high school. For the high school. I, or it's not going to affect anybody else, you know. So even 15 minutes, and, but it'll affect their lunches and everything. Yeah. But 15 minutes at, the, at this age makes a big difference. Hey, I can I talk. an extra 15 minutes. Well, yeah. Wait, wait till you watch them. When I would watch my kids and you're like, how do they expect them to get up and be ready to go at 6.30 in the morning? Mm -hmm. And then by like nine in the morning, they're eating lunch. Yeah. I remember like swinging by and going, what are they all doing in the cafeteria? It was so early. Right. I'm like, I haven't even had a full cup of coffee and they're, yeah. they're already <laughs> doing lunch. Yeah. So I'm happy for you guys. Yeah. That really is, happy. I think that is good. It's 15 There's, minutes, but every little bit helps. There's actually research that like the teenage brain doesn't even like function as well that time of the day. So I've heard of other schools that even have flip flopped their elementary schedule with their high school yeah. schedule. Yeah. You know, because they would do better on that later. Right, and, early, and little ones are up. Yeah, and ready to go. Yeah, like true. Lucas is up at seven, and he could start his day. That's true. That yeah, we, that would be something good to consider. But we'll flip it. Fifteen minutes is good too. So we'll hey, start there. we'll take it. All right. So moving on from Dr. Seuss, we also have a lot of holidays and things coming we up. Do. So let's talk about pa St. Patty's Day. Okay. Oh, good. Look at that. You were prepared. well. I was. Can I have the boingy ones? Yes, you can have those. All right, I'll do this one. I was gonna bring oh, my hat. I forgot that. The Dr. Seuss? No, I uh, the, no, I had. Here. I bought us those little leprechauns. Okay, see, too. we are dressing up as we speak. Okay, okay. well, because well, obviously we over. wore our Dr. Yeah, Seuss so shirts keep for Dr. Going. Seuss, so to keep it going. <laughs> All right, now we're in um, St. Patrick's Day mode. Okay, everything but the green beer. Yeah. Okay. All right, I don't like beer anyway. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, Doctor. Oh, that would be me over the rainbow story time. <laughs> Actually, we are. We're having. It, um, I'm calling it over the rainbow story time. It's going to be on Monday night, March 12th at 6:30, and I have all kinds of little tr fun treats for them. Fun. Some fun crafts for them. It's all rainbow. Um, themed and a 45 minute party for the kids just fun to celebrate st patrick's day and i even wrote myself a note to remember to say this because and, and you read it on shirts and everything everybody is irish on st patrick's day right <laughs> yep hardcore especially in pittsburgh yeah you can be hardcore italian german russian whatever you are 
You're Italian on March 17th. Irish. Uh, Irish. What did I say? Italian? <laughs> You're, the Italians are Irish. Everybody's Irish on March 17th. Yeah, whatever. Wear your green, green, Wear your green, green. shirts. And yeah, and come to our party. Yep, so it'll be I look fun. forward to that. We have fun. Yeah, the holiday ones are fun. Yeah. So another big event coming up is um, National Teen Tech Week. And that's going to be the first full week of March, the 5th through the 9th. And every day that week, immediately following school from 3 to 5, we're going to have different techie related. What? <laughs> to spit a little bit there. Well, I didn't <laughs> On spit. On your blinged out jeans. My blinged. I, all I did, I'm like a child. I picked it up and it squirted out. <laughs> Juice boxes straw. really aren't child friendly. No. Especially Capri Suns. Okay. But moving on. <laughs> all I wanted was a sip. All right. It looks like I, all so right, don't look at the wet. So Tech Week is a national thing that's celebrated in libraries mm -hmm. and schools throughout the country. Um, always the first full week of March. And so every day after school, we're going to have different things going on. On Monday, we're going to have um, Lego Stop Animation, where you can make different stop animation videos using Legos, which is a lot of fun. Mm. We're going to have a special um, techie kind of craft going on. We're going to do a tour of our maker space, and you can learn how to use our 3D mm. printers. Our um, beloved Mr. Peter is actually going to be com coming back from retirement just for this event. So, oh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're going to have him come back? <laughs> he is. He, he, He's already, yeah, he already said he wants to. Oh, okay. I yeah. know he said that, but you were like, I'm not going to make him yeah, do that. Yeah, but apparently he is. All right, Peter, whatever. So he whatever. Wants to come. He can't he, stay away. He can't stay away. So he thinks he's retired, but then he keeps coming back. Um, so he's going to be there helping us learn how to use the 3D printers. We're going to also have some little trivia going on, um, some video game tournaments. Mm -hmm. So all things related to techie. You can see the full list of details on our website or right. um, just check out our social media. Um, so that's going to be the 5th through the 9th. That'll be fun. Yeah, it always yeah. is. God, we have weeks after weeks after weeks these themes and things going oh, yeah. on. There's always We're so some... cool. <laughs> we are. We could say that, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We keep things going. So kind of connecting to Teen Tech Week, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's yeah. all about the teens. I love when they do this, when the high school comes over and they do a big photo gallery right. in our lobby. Yeah. I love it. And it ties, actually is going to be coming in the week of Teen Tech Week, which is actually pretty appropriate because, you know, digital photography, what more That's tech right. do you want? Oh, so. my gosh. They do such a good job. Oh, and they, beautiful. You know, how they can manipulate pictures and do really cool things mm -hmm. with it. I am... When I see that there, I am so impressed yeah, by the it. talent. I'm serious. I'm lucky that I can get a picture in focus, <laughs> you know? And, and the only reason it mostly is in focus, I think, because doesn't your phone kind of automatically right. do that? Yeah. So, back between in the my day, eyes you used and, to like, have to roll a film when you get it back, you and like, go like two this. pictures would be good because yeah. the rest of them would be headless or something. Oh, I love but it. I do, too. Pictures I'm excited. after pictures yeah. after pictures. It really makes a gallery in our library, yeah. so it's, it's exciting. So that's going to yeah. premiere on the 8th, and I think they usually do some kind of reception that evening, too. For the kids yeah to, like to open it up to open it up yeah mm -hmm. i look forward to that yep. well this one i'm just going to give you an intro because when i see our next topic i go this is absolutely ingenious there are two things that will bring our young adults to the library or, yes. or our, our adults what food food and bonus points yes <laughs> So Give them bonus points or bonus points. they will come. Right, yeah. especially our teens. So this is actually backtracking because it's going to be starting the week of February 27th through um, March 2nd. So if you're catching this, um, we're going to be doing it the very, very last full, full, uh, week of February. We're partnering with the middle school well, in we particular in there, yeah. um, and having a Shakespeare-themed week. And so a lot of the teachers at the middle school in particular, but maybe even the high school, if you ask, are willing to give you bonus points if you attend any of these activities. You do leave it with, leave the activity with a, um, like a certificate showing that you were participated and um, all different things every day of the week. Again, right after school, um, we're going to have like blackout poetry. We're going to do, um, we'll show some movies so you can come to the library, eat, watch mm -hmm. a movie and get bonus points. Um, so every day of the week, it's something different, a book tasting. So immediately following school. Well, wait, wait, back up. Book tasting. Yeah, what is that? Um, book tasting is like almost like speed dating oh. for books. Oh, okay. Yeah, what you do don't you actually eat them. 
Like you're not nibbling on the spine of a book. You Again, like I was going to say, look feed at them a, and they will come. Right? But I, didn't, I didn't want you to take it literally um, with the books. But you like kind of preview it and then you, the bell rings and it goes to the next yeah. person. So it's like basically like kind of just getting a quick preview oh, at a book. That's cute. Um, so yeah, sometimes they call it speed dating for books. I mean, either way, it's the same. I thing. like it. And that's that's cool. So that's what did be you call it again? Book, book tasting. Oh, book tasting. I was going to say book eating. <laughs> I can't get that that's out of my head. Literal. What? <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, was it for the um, middle school last year? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We didn't, we Why didn't did I think it was for the high school? Didn't it was all it's middle school that got the bonus? Officially partnered with the with I believe the eighth grade English department. Okay. But I feel like other high school teachers, like the high school teachers, would want to participate too. So. I would think so too, especially after they watch this, and I can just see the enthusiasm oozing over in this right here in this studio <laughs> of them wanting to get bonus points for Shakespeare Week. Yeah. Right. Shakespeare Week's fun. Yeah. Especially the movies. That's my favorite. Yeah. One, so. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Okay. Any books to share before we're done? I do. Oh, I forgot to share. Oh, I like that one. I know. Here, this is a funny one for, I'll, I'll just put this, but I brought some things that go along with your tech week. This is called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Clover. <laughs> Those are fun series. And you know what? I love reading these. Like, there was an old lady who swallowed a... Um, the pie is the a pies one. We for read that one. On yeah, here. you know, and the, it, she swallows all these things. And because I do the little ones, even with the kindergarten and preschool, I always preface it, I'll always be like, don't try this at home. <laughs> like they're going to get a cow down their throat. Right. But, they, you know, I don't know. They could pick up a plastic cow or something. But these are hilarious. Yeah, they're really They fun. are. The kids really, really, really love them. If you want to read to them to c help with the memory and everything. And there's good repetition, too, which is good for oh, early literacy. It's, yep, over and over and over. Okay, yes, I did bring books. And okay. I brought these. Some techie stuff. I did. I brought all. Because you know what? We, we have so been getting cool so many um, non-fictions. All right, how about this for a title? Project Code, create music with Scratch, create an animation with Scratch. Oh, cool. Look at that. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. And we do have a lot of cool stuff. We have um, the PBS Kids Playtime apps, which have mm -hmm. Scratch Jr. already loaded onto them, which is a free app with iPad anyways, but if you don't right. have an iPad, that's such a great program. But we d and we did that. Yes. Remember when we had that particular yeah, night that hour we did of the, code, yeah. the hour of code and they came in? Um, you're talking about Peter coming in. Mm -hmm. 3D printing projects. Oh, fun. I'm going to make my list. They have the coolest things in here. On the back of this, it even shows a chess set. So you how can make. Fun. How, oh, like we can. Chess. Mr. Pete, our chess champion, we could make him a. 3D printed chess yeah, set. Yeah, 3D printed chess set. Or a planter, apparently. Hand, yeah. Hand planter. Stamps. Um, the stamps are yeah, cool. Yeah, the stamps. Those are cool. And then, um, do you have some? I can save this for next this time. Is all the same okay. Thing. That's and fine. then maker space. All cool. kinds of what to do with gadgets. Light it creations that glow, shine, and blink. Ro uh, robo. Robotify. B -b 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 I, I could get a Robotify it. Yeah, robots you can make yourself. Love it. We have a ton of them. All fun stuff. Yep. Okay. And we do have our Tween Maker Mondays too. So if you know if you can't if you're too young for Teen Tech Week, then stop in for our Tween Maker Mondays when uh, Miss Linda will show you some full fun tech. Week. Absolutely. All right. So squeeze a book in I'm here. I'm going to get a little bit off topic because this is um, a little bit controversial as well. Um, so our book for book club this month is The Hate You Give. Uh, it, and I just want to put it out that this is definitely recommended for mature teen audiences. Okay. Um, it was um, a Yalsa's Teen Top 10. So it is getting a really lot of great reviews, but it also has a very kind of controversial topic. We don't have time to really go into it right now, but I just want to put a little out there. It is for our teen book club um, because we don't censor in a public library. But... Um, it, right. is, it definitely deals with some more mature, controversial um, themes. So right. I just wanted to give that little public service announcement yep. on that one. So, but it's a, it is a wonderful book, wonderfully written, and it's getting great reviews on it too. So, yep, we do not censor. No, we do not. We are public. We are for everybody. Yep. Right. Yeah. All right. Next time. See, See you next ya. time.